He was a champion on the track and in his community. So, it was so helpful. I mean, he's been, this year, he's been trying to help a couple of the younger new drivers. A race car driver from San Diego killed over the weekend after a crash during a race in Yuma, Arizona. 10 News anchor Brian Schlonsky sat down with the driver's father and sister who say his loss isn't just hitting hard at home. When he would be around the racetrack, he would come to life more than any other place. Come to life and come to win. He was awesome. I was really proud of him. Shelly Hackett looking at a scrapbook of accomplishments, that 44 car and the decorated racing career of her brother, Mike Corning. We go pretty much any racetrack across this country and, and they know who he is. Mike's dad, Larry, a racer too. The family traveling the country together, collecting wins and memories. I'm getting to the point where, you know, the racing career is pretty much over and, and so it was, I, I still raced through his eyes. So it was no different this Saturday. Larry watching his son speed down a Yuma, Arizona track. Only this time would be the final time. Mike hit a berm on the infield his car rolling four or five times. It was a, a pretty violent wreck, but there was only one car involved. It wasn't um, anything that should have killed anybody, but that's the things that happen in this sport. Mike rushed to a hospital. He developed a blood clot. Half hour or so, he had a, a massive stroke, and the stroke just done so much damage in his brain that there was no way that they were gonna come back from it. Mike didn't make it. His wrecked car now sits in a national city body shop. It's been a really bad weekend. It's really, it's really, really, really hard to talk about it. His family, not the only ones feeling the loss. Mike was known to help younger drivers, was even mentoring two the day of the crash. We're a pretty tight community, the San Diego racers anyway, because, you know, we're kind of a dying breed out here. A community now mourning the loss of number 44. It's just like a... A nightmare. Brian Schlonsky, 10 News. A GoFundMe page has been set up to help the family, and we have a 